uh, cos ax or sin ax uh, and we have to show that in powers of sin or cos uh, we'll write uh, this uh, in basically de morphs theorem so we'll use the de morphs theorem now uh, cos 5x is the real part of this expansion so if we just take the real terms of the expansion cos x plus i sin x all to the power 5 <clears throat> we'll get cos to the power 5x plus 5c2 cos cube x into i square sin square x <clears throat> i square will turn minus 1 and 5c4 cos x times i to the power 4 sine to the power 4 x i to the power 4 would be 1 so this is the real part uh, now we have to show in this show we have uh, cos x outside so we'll do that same over here take cos x outside now you have if we take cos x out it will we'll be left with cos to the power 4 x so 1 cos squares x whole square so 1 minus sine square whole square that's because inside the bracket there are no cos so we'll replace all the cos x with sine x uh, and then you have if you take away one uh, cos from cos x from here you'll get cos square x so minus 10 1 minus sine square x times sine square x and if you take cos x from here it will be left with 5 sine to the power 4 x now break the brackets and then you take the powers for uh, 10 plus 1 10 Yeah, so you have uh, 10 sine to the power 4x plus 5 sine to the power 4x uh, plus sine to the power 4x, so 16. Then you have minus 10 sine square x minus 2 sine square x minus 12 sine square x and 1. So you have the values of a, b and c to be 16 minus 12 and 1. In part b, we have to find the solution for this equation. Um, the values of theta is given in the range 0 to pi by 2 and we have to give our answers to three decimal places uh, so if you continue <coughs> uh, we already found out cos 5x so we'll just replace that with theta we'll replace the x with theta and we also know that uh, sine 2 theta can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta so this will just be 2 sine square theta cos theta so it will be 2 sine square theta cos theta In, and now you can see that uh, you can cancel out the cos thetas and then you can solve this so you can solve this like a quadratic and you'll get the value of sine square theta to be 7 plus minus root 17 by 16 now sin theta will be plus minus root over 7 plus minus root 17 by 16 however uh, we are given that theta is from 0 to pi by 2 now uh, if sin theta was negative it would lie in the third and fourth quadrant which is outside the range of values given However, if it is positive, it's in the first two quadrants and we'll get a value here. So sine theta can either be uh, root seven, root over 7 plus root 17 by 16, which would give us a basic acute angle of 0 0.9859. Uh, or it could be 7 minus root 17 by 16, giving us a basic acute angle of 0 0.4379. So as the range is uh, 0 to pi by 2, we'll just get this and this. So that's our answer.